Are you only looking at your skin undertone to determine your best hair color? What about the other two elements of color, which are value, light or dark, and intensity, bright or soft? It is really when undertone value and intensity of color is in harmony with our own personal coloring is when we sparkle. In this video, I'm going to share with you a little bit of hair color theory and how to map it to the three elements of color and help you choose a hair color that makes you sparkle. Stay tuned. like subscribe to this video comment I would love to hear from you and if you subscribe please be sure to hit the bell icon so you get notified when a new video is added to my channel this channel is growing fast and there's lots of fabulous things coming so first off let me just get into why you should care about the color you're framing your face with meaning your hair colors you choose it is one of the first things people see about you and if you are framing your hair color with the wrong color you could be making yourself look dull washed out uh, perhaps your face and jawline unrefined and wider all not things that are I think what you want to give off. So stay tuned this video. I'm going to help you work through applying color analysis theory to choosing your best hair color. What I've likely never shared with you before on this channel is that I am a licensed hairstylist in the province of Ontario in Canada. I have been to hair school. I've apprenticed at a hair salon and worked as a hairstylist. So I know what I'm talking about in terms of applying color analysis theory to the hair colors you choose. I get it. You're, you know, you're watching a video with somebody who has minimal hair color that are in their hair. I have a little bit of blue and a little bit of pink on this side and I don't wear much makeup. So why would you believe me? Because I am trained in color analysis, which is identifying people's best colors. I run a image consulting practice and uh, where one of my services of that practice is color analysis and it is the bulk of my services. I've seen hundreds and perhaps thousands now of clients and I have taught this course at a local college in Toronto, Canada. This is what I do. I help people to determine their best hair, makeup, clothing, and accessory colors. And that's what I plan to do in uh, this video with your hair color. Help choose a hair color that makes you sparkle. Before I share with you some tests you can do on your own to decide what undertone, value, and intensity of hair colors make you sparkle, I think it's important to talk a bit about color theory and applying it to hair color. So first aspect of color is undertone. You can have cool, neutral, or warm undertone and further refined on the neutral category to be neutral, cool, neutral, warm. I've done so many videos on undertone. I'm going to include a couple links below in the video description for you to walk through to decide what your skin undertone is. And the neutral undertone range, I just want to say, please refer to my neutral undertone take two video because it is rare for somebody to be fully neutral. The second aspect to color is value. So here we are. Here's my little hand-drawn chart on value. So uh, you can have dark value, light value in terms of value scales. And in terms of hair color, hair color's value is usually uh, in the form of level one to 10. Some color systems have a different numbering systems, but they should all map to each other. So level one being like dark black, and uh, the lightest level, perhaps level 10, perhaps level 12 for some systems, being the lightest blonde. And then in the middle there, you can have sort of medium brown and some reds fit into that category as well. And uh, 
Here is the third aspect of color, which is intensity. And so you can have bright or soft intensity hair colors. Uh, so I look at uh, soft hair colors to be in the ash family. And if you have a warm undertone, I would say it's more of a soft gold family. And then if uh, your coloring is more lined to bright, I see that as no ash. And with sort of medium copper, some strawberry blondes, etc., sort of riding in the middle here. I'm about to show you some values, undertones, and intensity of hair colors to test out to decide if it gives off your sparkle. Um, and that's why I'm in uh, this little get up because I'm gonna show you how to set up uh, to test those. So you're gonna wanna cover your current hair with a white piece of fabric, cover what you're wearing with a white piece of fabric or wear a white t-shirt, have no makeup on, and sit in natural daylighting in front of a mirror. And I get this may be tricky to do in a hair salon, so um, if there's any way you can bring hair swatches home, uh, that would be fantastic, but uh, this would be the most optimal way to set up yourself. For each hair color I'm gonna run through, uh, what you're gonna wanna do is just hold it up to your face and look at yourself in the mirror and ask yourself, where is your eye more naturally inclined to look? The hair color before your face or your face before the hair color? Your goal is to look at your face first. Uh, if your eye is more inclined to look at the hair color first, that means the hair color is overwhelming you. Uh, ask yourself if the hair color is adding a sparkle to your eye color, taking away color from your skin, perhaps adding sallowness, um, ask yourself if your jawline looks refined and lifted. But the most easiest test I find is frankly the test asking yourself where your eye is more naturally inclined to look. Now let me get into the specifics of the hair color swatches that you want to test to confirm value of hair colors that make you sparkle. So if you've decided in watching my videos or another way that you have a cool skin undertone, you're gonna wanna go to the cool hair swatch section at the store where you buy your hair color or the hair salon and choose a cool black hair color, a cool brown hair color in the medium sort of range, so the hair color here is a level six, and uh, a cool blonde hair color, and you'll want to test those against you and make some decisions there. If you determined your skin undertone is warm, to test value, you'll want to grab a warm undertone darkest brown, a warm undertone sort of medium brown, and a, usually in the warm undertone family, a golden blonde, and make some decisions there in terms of value. And if you found that you have a neutral undertone range undertone to you, you'll want to grab a neutral undertone, deepest color you can find on the hair swatch section. Uh, you'll want to then grab a medium brown neutral undertone hair swatch and a light blonde hair swatch. Test those against you and make some decisions there around the neutral undertone category. And the intensity category is really where you can play with uh, the intensity of color that works for you. So um, this is where you would compare if you have a cool undertone, for instance, an ash hair color to a cool red, for instance. If you have a warm skin undertone, though, I never recommend ash. So your soft hair color would be a soft gold so in this sort of intensity step you could compare sort of a soft uh, brown gold versus a more brighter hair color in the warm family and make some decisions there and play with uh, the intensity as well you could go into the medium range as well
And if you have a neutral undertone, you do the similar sorts of things. You would just take play with the different intensities in the neutral undertone family and make some decisions there. I will also add though, if you have a cool undertone and to decide to put say red in your hair or high intensity violet, um, what I will say is that these tend to fade fast and when they fade, they tend to fade, fade warm. So you want to keep up with your hair color. Now let me walk you through an actual color palette scenario in the color analysis wor world. So I am a true summer. So cool undertone colors work for me. Medium to light value hair colors uh, and colors in general work for me and soft colors work for me. And so um, I would choose this hair color, which is cool of medium value and it's an ash hair color. A lighter value hair color that could also work for me is this sort of light ashy blonde. It's probably more over there in the middle of medium brown and light blonde. You, If you are in the True Summer family and watching this, you can actually go uh, a very ashy light blonde if that is where you want to go as well. I hope this video helps you decide the undertone value and intensity of hair color that makes you sparkle. Comment below to let me know and please subscribe and share this channel. Hit the notify bell icon below if you subscribe. Happy shopping.